So the premise of Zeno's paradox is actually very simple. You start somewhere, you end somewhere, and you want to get from point A to B. The issue is, to get to point B, you have to go halfway. And then of the remaining distance, you have to go halfway. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And the point is, there are an infinite number of subdivisions, or really, there's an infinite number of steps you have to go through to get to the end point. So, how could you ever get to point B if there's an infinite number of steps? And that's a good point. Except Zeno's paradox is complete bullshit. Let me explain why, but first let me get out of here. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. I'll be talking about them more later on in the video. So first of all, if you think about what we're saying, like going halfway, then another halfway, etc., etc., and you think about it more formally, what we're doing is we're taking a half, and then we're adding a fourth, an eighth, a sixteenth, you know, descending powers of two. And what we're saying is that you take this infinite sum, it gets very, very close to one, right? Like we should get very, very close to point B, uh, but at no point do we actually reach it, right? If we think about this as a discrete sum, uh, where we stop adding at some point, yeah, we can get close, but it's never going to be equal to or greater than one. And that's the paradox, right? Because we know we can get to point B, but somehow we, we can never get quite close enough in this like infinite process of tasks. And of course what this means is there has to be something subtle going on, something hidden inside the paradox, because we know the shit works. So uh, before I reveal that, think about it to yourself. What could it be? Uh, but I'm thinking maybe it'd be fun to show more examples of like things that would uh, not be possible with Zeno's paradox. So let's do that. Well, starting off with a very basic one, we know that you're watching this video and you are going to watch it to completion, you don't have a choice. Well, uh, this is the same kind of problem because to do that, you've had to see half the video and then once you get to that point, and I know it's been entertaining up to that point, uh, you have to watch another half of what's remaining and half of what's remaining remaining. Uh, so even watching this video in, is seemingly an impossible task. At least Zeno says that dipshit. <laughs> Or maybe you're in the town of Reading, where there's dogs barking all the fucking time. Uh, but you also have these massive potholes and you gotta repair them. Well, you repair half of it, and then you repair another half. These uh, construction workers are just taking their time. Well, uh, there will always be a bit of pothole left, which is a bad thing. Okay, final example. Imagine you have a plane with a set amount of area, and each step is getting rid of half the area over and over. Actually, American audience, let me rephrase this. You have a pizza, and uh, each time you eat it, you eat half the pizza, and then what's remaining, you eat half of it again and again and again. Well, you're always gonna have some amount of pizza left over, even though it seems like you're gonna reach the end of the pizza. I feel like you get the point. Let me explain what the issue with this whole Zeno's Paradox is. So in only so many words, the key issue in Zeno's Paradox is time. There's this underlying assumption that we kind of don't address, but it is the thing that makes this thing a paradox, and the assumption is that each step, every halving process, takes the same amount of time, which of course doesn't make any sense, right? You have a ball going halfway, and then a quarter way, and then we're saying each step that takes the same amount of time. Well, if we were to take kind of the motion of that graph, which is this discrete thing, you could smooth it out. Uh, that is exactly what deceleration is, covering smaller and smaller distances in the same amount of time. That means your speed is decreasing. So yes, under this kind of weird assumption, uh, with time, uh, any decelerating process like this is not going to reach the end goal. And this becomes very, very obvious, by the way, uh, with the example I gave about watching a video, something that is actually measured in time. It, it doesn't make sense, right? To go half the video isn't the same as going a quarter, an eighth. In fact, the time decreases proportionally uh, to what is left in the thing. So. If instead we know that each step is gonna take half as much time as the one preceding it, so each step is gonna be faster and faster and faster because it's spanning less things, then there's no issue because time flows at a constant rate. If you stay in the same spot in space, oh, don't worry about that. But uh, since time flows constantly and we know that these steps are taking less and less time, then it's a, it's a non-issue, right? We're not adding a infinite number of a set finite amount of time, which blows up to infinity, 
And uh, yeah, so long story short, uh, time is the issue. Aristotle pointed this out a, a while back. Am I plagiarizing him? Yes, um, but what's he gonna do? He's fucking dead. Is it just me or does this have heavy VFX artist react energy? Like exactly. <laughs> so yes, Zeno's Paradox, bunch of bull hockey, but you know what does take an infinite amount of time, seemingly? Making a website, and it shouldn't be that way, and there's a hack to this, and it's Squarespace. Squarespace is a service that lets you make websites basically using very good looking templates. You drag stuff around, make a beautiful website in seconds. In fact, my website, www.cgmatter.com, check it out, uh, is made with Squarespace, and I have no complaints. Some services that Squarespace offers is analytics, so you can track how many people and who is going to your website and also email campaign so you can send out a personal or a branded message to the people that are going to your website. For what it is, Squarespace is already super affordable, but I'm here to make that deal even sweeter. You can click my link in the description and save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. Squarespace has uh, been a sponsor for a long time and I've been using them for a long time. Check it out.